The Southwest Environmental Center was awarded $199,000 for a wetland restoration project here, just outside of Las Cruces next to the Rio Grande River. However, the state government hasn't released the funds and may now be reallocating the money. Kevin Bigsby and members of the Southwest Environmental Center shoveled dirt on three acres of land the center purchased in 2005. It's, it's a groundbreaking project. We're doing something that really hasn't been done before along, this, along the Rio Grande in southern New Mexico. The project is part of New Mexico's River Ecological Restoration Initiative and would create a lake and wetland area near the Rio Grande. More than half of the New Mexico's uh, wildlife depend on wetlands at some point in their life cycles. So in order to protect our wildlife and to restore it, you really get a lot of bang for your buck when you focus on these wetland areas. But the money is being held up. According to Bigsby, Governor Susana Martinez is pushing for Senate Bill 373, which reallocates the funds and uses them for other purposes. Something Bigsby feels will take away jobs from a construction-ready project and isn't helpful for the environment. And this is a stretch of the river that's really been hammered over the past century. It's been channelized and in the wintertime it hardly flows at all. And, you know, it's not surprising we've lost two-thirds of our native fish species down here. And so this, this type of uh, project where we restore some of the, the backwater habitat that the fish need for spawning and for, uh, you know, to survive the wintertime, it's really important. He also feels the created wetland would help educate local students. We're working through uh, NMSU's scientifically connected community to, uh, you know, make this project available for field study for a network of K-12 teachers. Senate Bill 373 passed the Senate and is now in the State House for consideration. We tried to contact Governor Susanna Martinez for comment, but no one from her office returned our phone calls. For now, all Bigsby can do is hope the State House votes down the bill or amends it so the wetland project can move forward. For KRWG, I'm Jared Anderson.